Hi friends, welcome back to Angular tutorial. So we are discussing about how to get API access from your Angular. So last day we have created the list. So basically this list is coming from a JSON placeholder. We can get some demo data and we are getting access of this data from our Angular application through the API. So for this we have created a service. So this is my post data service and we will call the service to get the data okay so last day we have created this listing but the problem was when we click on the home we can see the post list when we click on the blog we can see the same post list and if you click on the course also we can see this post list so i don't want to see post list every time i want to make it component wise so how we can do this so let's create a component so here i will create a new menu that is the post so when you click on that menu that time only this will work so let's create a post component so just go to the terminal and create ng for angular g for generate c for component and my component name is posts okay and i want to see all my component inside this components folder so just write components before the component name so components okay slash post okay so it will create under this component folder so just go to the components and here we can see a new component that is post is created okay so now just go to the post component.ts file and here we can see the post component dot html file okay so here we will create the post list so h1 slash h1 okay so inside the h1 tag we will write the post list okay and we will create a table and before that we need to call the service so my service name is post data so just import this service so import the service name is post data service post data service and it will from the path so what is the path so inside the src slash app slash the service name that is post data service okay so just use this and we need to use these things from the constructor okay so let's create a private variable so create a private this is the private property you can say also so we will use inside this constructor only so private and create post colon the service name that is post data service and we will create a property that is all post okay and we will write here any so any kind of data we can accept and this is just like array because we are getting hundreds of data inside this so if you check in the browser so inspect element this we can see in the console section they are getting hundreds of records so we need to specify as an array and inside this constructor we will write this the property that is a private property post dot the method name get post data so this is the method name from the service get post data okay and we will call this dot subscribe okay and inside the subscribe we will get so right here data arrow and inside this we will just create this dot the current property all post equal to data okay now we can get access of all data from post service get post data and we can get access the all post variable from the post component okay so we don't want to see from every page so we just removing these things from app component dot html file so just remove these things and we will remove these things from the app component ts also so we don't want to see all these things so it will not repeat so just remove this all post from here also and we will create a post link so in the app component.html just like course 
we are creating a post link so here write post and write posts okay so i am adding the s here and if we just go to the browser we can see the new menu but it will not work now we are not using any routes so first add this inside the routes so here my routes name is app routing module and create a path that is path equal to posts and we need to call the component name so write component and component name is post component so just import these things so just write import and it will from dot slash components slash post slash the post component okay and here just include the module that is post component and just use this here okay so now if we just go to the browser there is some mistake so if we just check this so there is a comma expected in the app routing module so just go and see sorry we have not taken inside here so we need to write inside this parenthesis so right here so now just go to the browser we can see the post list so this is coming from post list dot component dot html file so i am closing the app routing now and app component and app component ts so this is my post component dot html file and here i will create a table and suppose table border equal to one and we will add the tier and inside the tier we will have a td will id so right here th for heading it will be looks better and for body and title so write title and body okay and we will create another tier for the data and this time it will use the td so right now i will copy this three times and we will get these hundreds of records so now we need to use the loop so right here ng4 so write ng4 directives equal to the item so first use the let item of the property that is the all post property so all post and you can get access of all property from this item so right here item dot id and in the same way item dot body and item dot title so basically we will get from body and title so write title and body okay so now just go to the browser we can see the post okay so all post we are getting and if you just click on the course we are not getting so every page we are not getting the post list so here we will add the course list here we will add the block list so for now this is post list okay so now we can understand how to call api and how to use service and from service how to get access data from the component so now we can render this post list so if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so next day we will step by step go to the new section so we will create a small project so we will create the header footer and some list or we will handle forms so next day onwards we will start some project on this angular application so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day